My first thought was, are we on Mars or are we on the moon? And it was hard to imagine that people were still playing on those courts. They weren't fit for purpose for, for anything to do with tennis. Uh, courts one and two were, should have been shut down probably about four years ago or maybe more. Bob gave us a roller about seven years ago and we flattened them out and we got another seven years or thereabouts out of them. Uh, but yeah, they were dangerous. When we did the original budget and the original grant application, it was very much about the courts. Brand new courts themselves, ITP, International Standard Courts, making sure that what was delivered would serve the club going forward for the next 20 to 50 years. Brett took us from the very early stages right through the end. Negotiation skills, I think, was the key for me because obviously we had to deal not only with the tennis club and their, their wishes, we also had to look at council's ability to fund whatever shortfall there were in contributions. What we decided to do was, and I know it's a dangerous ploy, was to give a tennis club, a, let them have a wish list and send it to you. That wish list included the lights, the LED lights, and there was no compromising from John, which was a great thing. The other one was the chain mesh fencing. It was all brand new fencing. The fencing that was here at the minute had fallen down, it had to be braced and was well rusted. So, you know, that needed to be replaced as well. We've engineered a detractable section of the nets that allow the net to be raised an extra metre to stop balls going over the courts. We've also got running water under the court, so there's a water bubbler at both ends in the middle of the court. There's a shade cloth in the middle, so there was uh, never a viewing platform in the middle. We've allowed a two metre viewing section between courts so that parents and spectators can go between the courts. Being Charters Towers, there's not much rain, not much cloud cover, so we've put a shade cloth over that for them as well. Brand new PA system, brand new electrics for all the lights. There was drainage issues with the courts to start with. We've fixed all those drainage issues. And in part where we've had to extend the court to, to get to the fit the ITP standard, we've also included a, a one metre high retaining wall to retain the earth around the, the drainage channel. During the project, we were fortunate the, uh, that the major contractor was able to utilise many of its uh, the local suppliers and contractors to actually work on the project. So that was uh, an immediate cash injection into the town. And, but the on, ongoing benefits for council and for the community mainly is that, the, that we're able to have tournaments such as this which allows people from out of town to come here. There's accommodation, there's meals, there's tourism and uh, we believe that the, the spin-off for that is well worth the money that has been put in. Oh, tennis club now, well, you can see we've, we've got a tournament on. We played under lights again last night and everyone was just wrapped with that. It just gives us a facility that we don't have to worry about someone injuring themselves on. Running a junior tournament like this, you're always worried and hoping someone don't fall over. So the outstanding part of this project is essentially where we started from with no money at all and a court that was going to be closed and a club that was going to be closed to where we are right now. We've managed to negotiate a million dollar contract. We've obtained the funding for that million dollar contract. We spent every single penny and I think the most important thing is that we've been enabled to put a million dollars worth of infrastructure into Charters Towers region to help them both with their economy and with their social standard of living.